This is a short video on how I installed a fifth wheel hitch into my 1994 Chevrolet pickup truck. As you can probably tell, this hitch is not new. The rails are though. These hitches can be bought on Craigslist very cheap and are sometimes sold with the trailer. They usually do not come with the rails though. I got these rails on Amazon. They don't sell a bolt-on kit made for my truck, so I got the basic universal rail kit. It comes with the universal rails, all the nuts, bolts, and spacers, and also has the plates to connect it down to the frame. These require you to either weld them to the frame or drill holes and bolt them on. Something you need to know, though, is that the bolts that go through the frame require a 17 30 seconds hole. That is not a standard size drill bit that you can just go buy locally. If you plan to drill and bolt at the frame, you will need to order at least one online the same time you order the kit. Now let's go back in time and start at the beginning. I started by borrowing a hitch from a friend. I then placed it in the rails and both into the bed of the truck. I also got all the tools I needed set out. First thing I needed was a plumb bob, which is really just anything with weight hanging from a cord. A tape measure is also needed and something to mark with. I used tape and sharpies. You don't have to have a hammer and punch, but it helps. I used a spring-loaded center punch. You need a drill and drill bit. The holes in the bed take a half inch drill bit. The 1730 seconds bit will work if you ordered it to drill the holes in the frame. You will need a three quarter inch wrench. The same size socket and ratchet I show here I never actually used. Then we have the frame brackets and the bag of hardware that came with the kit. The directions that come with the kit are okay, but they could be better. The first page has an exploded view of how it goes together. A lot of the bolts and spacers you won't use though. Flipping over to the page for my truck and it shows a layout of the plates and where to drill the holes. The only actual measurement it gives though is the distance from the back of the bed to the rear rail. If you don't have a fifth wheel to use as a spacer, you would be lost on where the front rail goes. The front rail actually goes 22 inches on center from the back rail. That means from the middle of one rail to the middle of the other. It's easier with the fifth wheel on hand, but they should have wrote that little detail in the directions. Looking at the side view, you can see that the longer frame brackets go on the front. It is also showing that the hitch is one and a half inches forward of the axle. Not a thing wrong with that, but knowing how I use my truck, I want it as far back away from the cab as I can get it without going behind the axle. So I start by figuring out where the axle actually is. To do that, I use a plumb bob. Actually, anything on a cord that has weight to it will work. Park the truck on level ground and hang the object in front of the wheel. When you get it in the middle of the wheel, mark that spot on the top of the bed. Then do the other side the same way. I replace the marks later with tape so it would be easier to see. You also need to know where the middle of the bed is. You can just eyeball this, but I've marked it every foot or so and then connected my marks with a straight edge and marker. I then use that line to put the middle hole of the back plate on. I then slid back and forward until I got the middle of the hitch in line with the marks on the side of the bed. Now the scary part, drilling the first hole. Drill the back hole in the middle first. Use a punch to put a dent in the spot you want the hole. That keeps the drill from walking. You also want to look on the other side for anything in the way before drilling.
Once the hole is drilled, wipe the cuttings away and drop one of the supplied bolts in the hole. It helps to put something heavy on top of it. Then climb under the truck with a flat washer, a lock washer, and a nut. Put those on and tighten them down with a wrench. Before drilling any more holes, measure the distance from the back of the rail to the back of the bed at the midpoint. Then measure and adjust the hitch till you get the same measurement at each end. Now we need to know where the frame is under the rails so we know which holes to use. The directions say to use the third hole in the back rail. To make sure, we go under the truck and measure from the frame to the inner fender. We then use that measurement to mark the spot on the top of the bed. By setting the frame plate in the bed lined up with the outside of that mark, we can see that one of the holes lines up with that hole. So now we can drill that hole. It's now time to put the first frame plate in. I used a magnet to hold it in place while I started the nuts, then removed the magnet. This bolt is going through a high spot in the bed, so there is a gap between the plate and the bed. We use one of the thick supplied spacers to fill that gap. Then use a thick washer, a lock washer, and a nut. Now tap the plate flat against the frame before tightening it down. Now we know the rear rail is not going to move so we can drill the other three matching holes at the same time. Put a frame plate under the rear hole on the other side the same way as the first one. The front two holes tighten down just to the bed, just like the very first hole. Now you are done with the back rail and can start on the front rail. Using that center line we mark and drill the front center hole. Then under the truck again to tighten that one down. The frame of the truck is not straight, so we can't use the same holes as the other plate. We need to measure and mark at this point where the frame is.
Since the frame is wider here on my truck, we now use the second holes from the outside. But before drilling, I measure and make sure the rails are the same distance apart on both ends. Now I can drill all four holes. There is a gap at the top this time, so the spacers go in that gap and not under the bed like the back ones did. The bolts tighten up the same way as the ones on the back rail. The frame plates also go on the same way. They just go on the front bolts this time. Now under the truck one last time to tighten these bolts up. If you own a torque wrench, the directions say to go back and torque all of the bolts to 85 foot pounds. That has the hitch bolted into the bed of the truck. Now, if you plan to have it welded to the frame, the hard part is done. If you plan to drill and bolt it to the frame, you're about to start the hard part. You just pick two holes in each plate, drill and bolt it on but you are drilling through hardened steel, so it'll take a while to drill each hole. I would probably drill the hole with a smaller and cheaper bit and then use a special one to finish each hole. Odds are you will burn up at least one drill bit and you don't want it to be the one that's hard to replace. Either way you choose to mount it to the frame, check for lines and wires on the inside of the frame and move them out of the way first. That gets us back to the finished project. It looks like a complicated project, but it's not. If you know how to use the tape measure, a drill and a wrench, you can get this done in a Saturday. Even quicker with one of the bolt-on kits made for newer trucks. Now that I've got the hitch in the truck, I can get on Craigslist and start looking for a camper. If the camper I find comes with a hitch, I'm ready to use it. If not, I can use this one and I will hunt for my own later.